morning. I've been at the Kandutu slums in, uh, in Kika, where I was at an excellent uh, primary school, which uh, has closed 1,000 kids. Nearly all of them have reported, and they were still reporting as I left. Uh, so the narrative that children were not reporting, uh, that the reporting was at 50 percent, is not correct. We are closer to 90 percent plus. In terms of uh, new admissions at uh, Kiandutu, as at the time I was living, they had admitted 63 uh, children, mainly from the slum private schools and other private schools within the Tika metropole. I am now here. This is, which, which, what is the name? St. Luke Gidwariga Primary School. Gidwariga Primary. I am told it is in Islam. And uh, you also have more than 500 students. But first of all, I want to thank the people of Nyeri because they have done well. The leadership in Nyeri, uh, right from the, the RC, and the Regional Director of Education, and the County Commissioner in Nyeri, in particular, and the education person in Nyeri. With regard to the desk delivery program, I have not had any opportunity and reason to come here again after I was here several months ago, because they are, they are among the very top 10 counties that are doing extremely well, move towards 100, and I think that's what we want to do. I chose to come here today because I'm, I'm going to visit uh, some schools and slums across the nation. This is actually the third one. And I'm very impressed that the acreage here is good enough. There are enough trees, although I will still tell them to plant a few more trees. When you look, when you walk around the school, you find that there are enough uh, empty spaces. Some are, it's like they were preparing for Corona because the trees are there all the time. So all, the only thing you have to worry about is rain. Like today's weather is very good. The decision will have to be the head teachers going to be innovative as to take some classes outside. It will help us to, to give the children more oxygen. So I think water is not a problem here. So I've washed my hands. I'm also glad to see that we are using bars of which is cheaper and more effective. My temperature was taken. I've been to the classroom. All children are masked, as I have said, as government policy. Politics aside, we are going to mask all the children in the slums. And then we shall mask children in very large schools, and there are not very many, there are about 20 of them. And then the rest of the masks we shall keep to spare and provide as and when required. And they will, be, they will not be kept in one spot, they will be kept across the nation. We are going into the unknown. But I think we are positive. I want to say that uh, even though I had said earlier that it's only the primary school uh, 4 billion that will be released by yesterday, because of His Excellency the President's intervention, even the secondary schools 14.6 billion were also released yesterday. So the money was released simultaneously. Depending on which bank, don't waste your time on this one. Depending on which bank, Perhaps if uh, you bank with KCB, which is uh, the main bank that we reflect today, if you bank with any other bank, give it one or two days and the money should be available. My only warning is this. Uh, please use this money for what it is meant for. This time, we want to thank God that we are alive. I have no plans to make any extra money this year. Nobody should have plans for doing so. You should just have plans to keep on praying to make sure that you, you remain alive and you also help others to be alive. So this money belongs to the children and God will punish you severely if you even smell the smell of the money. I believe that it's not so much the amount of money that government gives, but more so how we use the money and apply it to where it is required. I've been told that children are being sent away because of development money. Please, if you have any detail of any teacher who is bold enough to return our children home because of development money, give us that information and we shall act very swiftly in the interest of that child. Uh, I think I'm happy with the, the rate of return to school. 
I'm being told that in Nyeri now, as a, as, as a county, we have got we have admitted an additional 753 children, both from public schools and private schools. Public schools because the parents may have been affected by the corona pandemic and what have you. So I would want just to tell the nation that we are moving together. We had a, a little challenges in the coast and in the northeastern region, and we are focusing on them. In Tukana and a few other areas, we know that the, the school feeding program, which attracts the children to school, has not uh, started yet. The food has been purchased as is, and is in the stores. We are working very closely with the Ministry of Devolution. Within the course of this week, food should hit Trukana schools, which are among the hardest hit, so that children who are attracted to school because of the food also come back to school. I want to thank you very much for your cooperation. I don't know if there's anything that I have not touched, even though I don't, it must be really relevant what we are doing. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Otherwise, I won't answer you. Yeah, there are some parents who are complaining that they to the public schools uh, from private schools after they are. Uh, now, previous, now, previous now listen to me very carefully and please pass this same message. Yesterday I was at Olympic Primary School, the largest primary school in the country with 4,700 children. It is like that because it is popular and it does well. There are hundreds of children outside the gate. I, my most humble self, told the head teacher not to admit them because at Ayan, which is not very far from there, there are empty spaces. At Toy Primary School, there are empty spaces. They don't want to go there. Before you bring the question back to us, help us to solve it because you can. We said we shall admit you according to our own guidelines. So, and it is, it is going on well. Don't, don't pinpoint only the, the downside. I think the parents now are aware if a school is very popular and is already too full, perhaps we will allow 10 or 20 children to go to Olympic. But we can't allow hundreds of them when there are so many other schools around that they don't want to go to. So it is not so much that the schools don't want to admit, it's the parents that are being cheeky. Yeah. Do, do you get the point? Yeah. Nevertheless, the government is here to serve the parents. Yeah. And can we serve them, even with the teachers as you turn them away? Turn them away having talked to a school that is neighboring you, even taking the detail of the child so that you tell uh, the neighboring school if you can't admit because you are full that uh, the child can be admitted there. Every child must be admitted. It is the process that will be a bit tricky, but it's going on well because you are the first person I'm hearing, and of course, you saw some of you in, in the print media said that no, no admissions were made, which of course is a a big fat lie. The admissions are going on. Where there are issues, I want to repeat this, like schools like Kenya High School, Pandani, where hundreds of thousands apply. You may find that children are turned away from there. But we are going to admit them. They, ha they, will, they, they will be admitted. Even though, after talking to those top schools, including Alliance, we may find that you might have 10 or 20 also to go there. Because at the bottom, at the end of the day, every child must be in school. By the end of this week, we shall give you a comprehensive statement and anybody who is bold enough to deny a child admission when there is space there, and that person will go and work in his own school, not in a government school, because government school belongs to, it belongs to the government and to you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.